This is another video brought to you by The Ichiban Productions Like, comment, subscribe So welcome everyone, happy days are here again We're back and this time we've got a review of I'm sure you're not surprised, it's a case But what's the case for? This is for the Wimius S1 projector that I've reviewed previously Let's uh, open it up, let's check it out And the question is, does it fit? So I've been looking for a case or a bag for my projector for a long, long time. Currently, it's been sitting in a plastic box with a cover on the top, and it's been all right. But it's uh, you know the box is too big for the projector. It's just bulky. It's just in the way. So bam, I got myself a travel case. Not that we're tending to travel anywhere in this situation, but hey, it should look after it. Stop it getting knocked. So what did I do? Bam, I looked on Amazon. You knew I'd look on Amazon. And I couldn't find anything specifically for the Wimius. However, I measured it up. I found a generic one. It's come through. It's by Hammer. H-A-M-A. -A. Apparently, that's a good brand. I've never heard of it before, but my girlfriend has. And she assures me that it's all right. So, bought it. Next day delivery. Bam, it's here. So, let's take a closer look at it. Let's open it up and see, does it actually fit? So, the bag, it's made out of this lovely black cloth if you've got a laptop bag you know what sort of material it is it's got a nice little case at the front oh snap and so you can fit your documents in there it's not very wide so you can't fit a lot of wide stuff in there but definitely for documents that's a lovely little mark there that's brand new um so yeah can fit your stuff in there which is pretty good on the sides we got ourselves our hook for a shoulder bag i guess if you're going to be carrying it you're not going to be holding it like this it's going to need to go on your shoulder so that makes sense to have a shoulder one over there so we've got another one there. On the bottom, we've got some feet. So if you're putting it on the floor, it's not going to get uber dirty and it should stop it slipping and sliding. We've got ourselves a little bit of information here. This one is the large one. It comes in large, medium, and small. Um, the large one was in stock. The medium was on back order. But I measured it up and hopefully it'll fit fine. So in this, in front of it, it should have like a gimmick pouch for loads of gimmicks. And here we got all the information. Let's take a closer look at the information. Ah, readings for prisoners. So pause it if you really want to read it. Otherwise, let's just get on to the goodness. So there we go. Let's see what's it got on it here. We got uh, projector retaining, projector retaining strap. That's good. So it doesn't slip and slide everywhere. Large hook, removable cable bag. That's pretty cool. Two large variable position pads. That's good to stick it in there. We got ourselves our padded handle to, um, you know, make it really soft when you're carrying it. Glorious. And obviously the document compartment. So on the top, let's have a look at what it's talking about. Oh yes, there's that padded handle here. Oh, very soft, very, very soft. So that's the outside, that's the documentation. Let's crack it open and see what's inside. Take a look at the zip, it's a genuine standard uh, zip as you'd expect. It's got two little zippers on it, so it means that you can padlock it if you're that sort of person. So here we go, unzipped. Let's hopefully get it so we can see what's inside. Ooh, nice. Not gonna lie, the first thing I'm really impressed by is I like the looks of this. So you could put all your little gimmicks in here. Maybe you could put a, you know, um, an Apple TV or a Fire Stick in there, so it doesn't all slip and slide. That's pretty cool here. We got ourselves our shoulder strap. Mm, I'll probably fit that later, but let's chuck it aside for the moment. And then what is this? <laughs> it's almost like they knew that this was going to be made for the Uchi Ban. He loves packets for packets and bags for bags. So we've got a little bag for cables in here. So I don't know, maybe the cable fit in there. Let's find out. I'll get the other one. I'll get the projector out of course and make sure it fits in. So we'll see if that fits. That's pretty cool. Feels like a pencil case, like a, a cheap pencil case. And here we go. What is. Uh, we got. Uh, so. These are two foam pads. I guess you can just stick them on the side to give your projector a bit more uh, protection. I think it's really nice that they've added that in there so it makes it a bit more generic so it can fit lots of different projectors. So, um, yeah, we'll see if we need these. Move that on the side. And then we've got a... <laughs> that is seriously affixed. Uh, we got ourselves a dividing pouch, uh, a divider, shall I say, uh, velcro either side, so obviously you can move it to the size of your projector, which is looking good, that's cool, and then we've got ourselves our uh, strap to strap down the projector itself, let's have a look at that, mm. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, you, it might just, yeah, actually no, maybe I'm being a bit of a, oh no, wait, I'm being an absolute noob, here we go, so yes, it probably will fit over the projector, so there you go, and then of course we've got those uh, crystal things, do not eat, do not eat, uh, I wouldn't advise eating those, I'll probably make you very ill, so but that's the actual case, so time to get the projector and see does it actually fit, so I'll be right back. <laughs> Boom, cheeky edit, I'm back, like I said I'd be back. 
So I've got the projector here, you know, I highly recommend you check out my review of the Wimius S1 projector. I said it was the best budget projector of 2020. Um, I guess it'll be 2021, although I suppose technology comes a long way. I would highly recommend this projector, so if you uh, haven't seen my review, I, I highly recommend you check it out. So, does it fit inside the, the bag? So, you can fit it in sideways, I reckon. Yeah, so there we go. Fits in sideways, nice and, nice and snug. Does it close though? That's the question. Yep, so it fits sideways. However, what you could do if you really wanted to not put any pressure on it whatsoever, because for me, it's a little bit tight sideways, is you could have it front on that looks a bit like this. Now, if you were going to have it like this, I would perhaps suggest that maybe you move it back that looks a bit like that. So, tuck it in the corner, and then we grab these. And by these, I mean these. So what these little pads can do is they can Velcro onto the front of the case just to give it a bit of protection going forward. And then another bit of protection there, maybe go sideways. And here we go. Does the actual strap fit? Yes, it does. Nice, tucked in, secure. And then one last thing to make sure it's uber secure. Of course, I'm talking about the side pad. So let's see if we can uh, get this a bit more secure, shall we? So let's... Uh... Oh no, this is... This is quite difficult to do, leaning over. Oh, a mega velcro. So, in we go, tuck it in. It's going to need some jiggery-puggery to get it to fit nice. Here we go, that's that's pretty good. And Yeah, I'm going to need to cut and uh, I'll do it properly, so I'll be right back. So, after playing around with it a little bit, yeah, I got it really nice and secure. See those pads at the front, protective and moving back and forward. That one's wedged in real nice, which means you've got a little bit of a gap here what can go in here well of course the cables and the cable bag so let's show that and here is one i prepared earlier so there we go that's the power cable nicely tucked away in there so you could also put the the remote in there as well i think so zipping it up Ooh, there we go and look beautiful fits perfectly in for me that projector is awesome but let's show you some of the other gimmicks i'm going to put inside this bag so the other big thing I want to know if it's in the bag is this projector tray. So this is what it's been sitting on at the moment. So on the projector stand, or should I say the tripod that I've been filming on, you can also fix a tray. That tray was perfect for the projector, which meant that I could put it on there and I could display it on the kitchen wall. I'm sure I showed some of that footage somewhere. Um, but this is absolutely perfect. Now the question is, I'm hoping and praying that will fit nicely inside the top uh, pocket because then all my projector stuff can be nicely together. The other gimmick that we need, of course, is this. It's a spare snap um, projector thing to go on the tripod. I think I spoke about those in my other review. So I highly recommend check out my other review to see it all. So I'm going to pause here. Can I fit the tray in? Let's find out. Boom. Unfortunately, you know, I was marking out because it seemed to be fitting so fine. But unfortunately, because the pocket goes a little bit down the, um, the zip, I mean, goes a little bit down the top, it doesn't quite fit perfectly. However, you know what? In the grand scheme of things, you know, I don't think it's really going to... Yeah, it'll slide out a little bit, but you see the lip at the top? That stops it sliding everywhere. So, you know what? Actually, I reckon we can. Now, the question is, will it fit snug? Will it close snug? Is there any... Ooh, I don't know. Let's give it a... You know what? Actually, look at that. It's a bit taut, like a torga there. Let's uh, try this side. <laughs> you know what? Actually, bang, done. So, the projector's in there. No no wobble. It's got the hard metal at the top to project uh, protect it. I think that's a job well done. <laughs> I'm actually really quite taken back by how good that is. So, with that in mind, let's give you my final thoughts. Put a number review on it, because of course there's got to be a star number for the review. Uh, and uh, let's talk about the positives and the negatives. Starting with the positives, what do I like? I like one, the projector actually fits in the bag. I mean, that's a massive win. It's not custom designed for it, but I think the extra little pouches and divides and stuff meant that it fitted in and it fitted in securely. I've been picking it up, I walked around the room and checked it was all all right. I think it's good. My advice personally is I put the lens facing upwards, um, so you're not bashing it against the floor if you're putting it down. So carefully putting your projector in there will make a hell of a difference. I love that it's got a little gimmick pouch. You can put your um, power cable in there and your remote and stuff like that i just love those little extra features and things like that i think the product's really well made um i'm really quite impressed i don't know if you could tell obviously obviously you could tell 
Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased with the positives. Um, it was 22.99. That leads me to probably the only negative. I mean, 22 quid for a projector bag. On one hand, for a bag, that's not too bad, but it is a budget projector. I mean, I paid about 150 quid for it. Um, so, you know, it's almost 20% of the cost of the actual projector is the bag. But then again, I suppose, if you're going to invest in it and it's not going to be out all the time, you might as well buy something decent that's going to protect it so it lasts um, a long time. So with that in mind, let's put a star score on it. One last thing I completely forgot to mention, I was looking around the room as I was listening to my recording. Uh, I completely forgot to mention the shoulder strap. So yeah, the little padding thing isn't very good, but you know what I actually really liked is the actual attachment here. So I don't know if that comes across really well, but that's that's solid metal. Um, I have a laptop bag. Um, it's granted it's not the greatest laptop bag in the world, but to, it's it's plastic to clip on that. So you know a bit of stress and stuff is going to break. Whereas that's actually pretty solid metal. So that's a massive plus um, because it at least ain't going to fall off your shoulder. Let's hope not because then it defeats the whole point. Um, so yeah, for a star rating, what am I going to go for? Thinking about it long and hard, what star rating am I going to go for? Well, for me personally, because that's how I always tend to review stuff, is thinking about for me, and what do I think about it? So what am I going to go for? I'm going to go for, boom, five stars out of five stars. It serves the exact purpose that I wanted it for at a price, which is probably towards maybe the little bit higher end than what I want, but I suppose I'm wishing for something if I'm expecting it to be cheaper. I mean, 22 quid for a bag that actually does its job, holds the projector, projects protects the projector um what more could you possibly ask for it fits perfectly it's got extra gimmick bags it knew it was going to be on the extra band productions because it must have known to have the extra gimmick bags so five stars highly recommended if you've got the wimmiest s1 projector buy it now stop messing about get on amazon the uh, link is in the description below not an affiliate link of course so just click it buy it buy it now buy it now so to finish, just want to say a massive thank you to each and everyone who subscribed to my channel. If you enjoyed the video, please click the subscribe button because it helps me out. You know, it just gives me that nice warm feeling to think that what I actually do makes a difference to people. That you enjoy my content, you know, and you're interested in what's coming up. I've got loads of reviews coming up. I've got loads of gimmicks and stuff you don't want to miss on. So click that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big old thumbs up. And if you've got any comments or questions, please post them in the comment section below. I always reply to each and every comment. Um, I do love seeing people engage with my content, so please feel free, post away, I absolutely love it. So with that in mind, I'm going to leave it there, you know what I'm going to say. Look after yourselves, take care of the people around you, and most importantly, stay out of trouble.